Hello YouTubers, RobinKey Jr. here, and welcome back to our awesome Battlefield 1 coaching series called Analyze Your Game. Uh, today's footage is sent in by Rage and Bacon, one of the community moderators, and he told me, give me a second, just let me find the email here. So this game is on Verdun Heights TDM, and in the message he says, best support ever, will be the judge of that, and also I'm a better New Zealander than Gav. So message to Gavin, um, you have some competition. So before we start off the video, um, I'm going to put the information on screen if you would like to send in your own footage for one of the upcoming episodes of uh, Analyze Your Game. And uh, without further ado, we'll get started right away. So Rage and Bacon plays on Xbox, uh, I believe, no, PlayStation, sorry, PlayStation 4. <clears throat> so as always, we're not going to be... Um, that critical on his accuracy because it is much more difficult to aim on console as opposed to PC. So he's got the bar. I think that is the <laughs> should aim down sight right there. Very nice kill. Okay, you have the bar trench, so um, you got a little bit better hip fire accuracy. Whoa, residual fire! Don't you just love that? <laughs> All right, so the game has already started, so, and we're still we're already quite um, into the game. You saw somebody down there, to your right. There's gonna be resistance. ADS, ADS. There you go. I realize that you haven't played in a while because your Battlefield One game was sh broken or whatever. Which is unfortunate, but it's time to get back and not be sloppy. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to take a drink of water. There will be nobody spawning there. You hear the gunfire away from you. Yeah, t you're a support, so top. Okay. Okay, wait, I just, what? Rewind a little bit. What the hell is this? Why? Why? That's a little bit too big. Why? Do you have two things to resupply ammo? You don't need two. You only need this one right here. That's the winner you want. It's much quicker. It resupplies instantly. You don't have to sit around to uh, resupply your ammo gadgets and stuff like that. So, and you have two. I don't know if it's a mistake or whatever, but you could have a limpet charge which is terrible drawing for Olympic charge, but you get the point. A crossbow launcher with the grenade at the end, you know? Anything but two things to resupply ammo. That's point that's a pointless waste of a gadget slot. So, um, okay, we're gonna keep going here, but never, never, ever, ever, ever run with two of the same two items that essentially do the same thing. Unless, of course, you're like assault, in which case that's the only choices you have is something that blows shit up. But when you're support, there's no point in having two things that resupply ammo. It's pointless, and the same thing for medic. There's no point in resupply your grenades. Yeah, and I'm I'm curious to see if you even drop the ammo kit or ammo crate. There you go. I know it speeds up. The, well, ammo, ammo pouches and crates are actually quite more complicated than um, than the medic pouch and medic crate. Um, it, it, it's a little bit more complicated than just how fast it's it, it reloads your ammo and stuff like that. Um, I would have to make a whole video talking about the differences between the two, and I think I will do that 
actually. Knife him! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I'm surprised that no nobody saw him. So I'm probably gonna make a video on what's the difference between, uh... The two. And why you want to pick one over the other. But having two of them is pointless. Nice! Double kill! Was that a double kill? No, that was the... But, uh... Yeah, you hear somebody behind you? Oh, oh! I hate it when that happens. He should have been dead. Like, come on. That was ridiculous. At least you notice that your teammates need ammo. This is very good. Most people don't uh, chuck ammo everywhere. They only, they only take care of themselves. As somebody subscribes to me at the same time that I'm making this video. Thank you. So, yeah. Throw your grenade. Throw your grenade. ADS, throw your grenade. Don't hip fire when at that range. Hip firing is only good for, like, especially with support weapons and LMGs and medic weapons. The only weapons that are really good for hip firing at longer ranges are like the assault weapons and that's not all of them, only certain ones. I wouldn't I wouldn't really hip fire with uh, LMGs and medic weapons unless you really have to, like you have your gas mask on or something. I'm further away than like uh, 20 meters. And even that's kind of pushing it, uh, because it's really not that accurate, even though it is the trench variant. Yeah, that range is fine, but uh, you gotta get back into the game of uh, ADSing. It's a bad habit to always hip fire. As you see, you saw that. You should have seen that tripwire bomb right there. You can hear them walking. I don't know how good your headset is. That's, uh, that's probably one of the most important things in video games when you're playing first-person shooters is to have a decent headset that can save you from so many deaths. So they're, they're going to be spawning. Don't look... Yeah, okay, now you're... you're It's like you're paranoid or something. I'm just going to pause it. Oh, damn it. I hate it when it does that. So, as I explained in one of the previous videos, um, generally speaking... A TDM match, uh, how the map is made. Well, this one is made a little bit different. It's This one's made like that, kind of. And there's usually like a line in which if there is more friendlies here, so these will be the friendlies, and those will be the enemies. If there are more friendlies on this side than there are enemies, the, 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 the enemies won't spawn here anymore. They will flip and they will spawn behind here. Uh, at general speaking, sometimes there's some exceptions and the spawns are kind of wonky, but there's usually a, a, a line in the middle of the map at which the spawns are on either side. So your friendlies would spawn on this side and then your enemies would spawn on this side. Um, so there's no really point in like looking around here like a madman. Chances are there's not nobody that's going to spawn. Well, sorry, double negation. There's not, uh, no enemies will spawn here and they're generally going to spawn in front of you where you're looking right now, so go down there and clear them out. Show them who's boss. God, I'm gonna I'm gonna th reload your gun. Especially with the bar. Especially with the bar. Make sure that gun is always reloaded before getting into a firefight. You don't have the um as you get a nice kill right there, you don't have the magazine capacity to uh, not reload whenever you have the chance. But you're doing really good. Like, your hip firing's good. Your tracking is pretty good, too. Uh, just get used to aiming down sight longer ranges. Because that will get you killed. Especially if you're playing against enemies who know what the hell they're doing. Oh, to your right! To your right! Oh, yeah, you heard him. There you go. Yeah. You're doing great. You are. Only thing that really annoys me right now is this. <laughs> the two things to resupply ammo. Oh man.
Nice. I realize that there's also aim assist on console, so I don't know if you have that on or not. It's hard to tell sometimes. Um, ADSing, uh, actually, if the way the way I've heard that it works is that when you ADS, it slightly brings your uh, aim onto the target. So that's something to think of too. But generally speaking, I've heard that it's better to not have aim assist on as it can off-put your point of aim. Um, but that's from what I've heard. I'm, I'm no expert on consoles and aiming on console. I'm garbage. I probably, I would never do as good as this. Only thing that would probably save me is game knowledge and map knowledge. That's probably the only thing. Because there's no way in hell I would do as good as this. Oh shit. That is unfortunate. He should be popping flares everywhere. I don't think he is. If he had flares... Ooh, that is our first death. Or no, second death, sorry. You've been in the spawn screen. That is really good. So that's why you put best support ever. <laughs> Showing off a little bit with your bar, bar trench. Don't forget it. You did unlock the weapon so you can change guns now. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't look behind. They're in front. You know they're in front. Keep going. Watch out for the residual fire. Ooh, nice. Your enemies are. I don't know if they they don't hear you coming, but they should. Throw your grenade. Throw your grenade. Yes. Exactly. He's gonna die. Yeah, to your left. Quick reload. <laughs> Can hardly tell that you uh, hadn't played in so long. Like I think I think it's been a couple of months since you've played Battlefield. You're going too wide now. Go back. Cut back in. There's there's the only people are gonna be here campers. In the back of the map like that. But I don't think it really matters because the game's almost over. Holy shit! The dude on your squad killed like four people. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's that's barbed wire. You don't want to go in there. That 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 hurts. That uh, that hurts. Come on, push, push. Quit looking around. Push. You know they're down there. Go, go, go. I'm not used to having the music in the background. I turn the music off because it's, I find it distracting. Ah, uh, I can't. I I know. I know why people put it, leave it on because it's actually really good. But ah, uh, it just dist distracts me so much. I can't have the music on. And that will be the final kill here in a second. Right about now. Are you gonna get the final kill? Oh, so close! You could have finished him off. You still had. You're not reloaded. You're not reloaded. You're not reloaded. Oh, but so you could have got that last guy. So you actually did pretty good. Thanks for bringing up the score screen right there. Twenty and two. That is great. That is great. You were resupplying your teammates, which was awesome. Um, I realized it's been a while since you've played Battlefield One, but don't forget that. That little thing I said earlier, TDM maps are made like this. Well, not not a square, obviously, but there's a line in the middle, and uh, your friends, your teammates will spawn here, and enemies will spawn on the other side. Always depending on how many enemies or friendlies there are on either side of this line right here. But generally speaking, that's how uh, the spawns will go. Um, also, the two times resupply gadget I'm writing on screen right now and it's terrible pointless pointless get a gadget that explodes or anything but anything but two gadgets that do this yet the exact same thing only in a different way that is pointless 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 and also you were actually uh, quite aware of your surroundings which is great your accuracy is pretty on point uh, learn to aim down sight a little bit more when you're at range there's no point in shooting uh, hip fire 
when you're like 20 meters away from your enemies, uh, you're probably not going to hit them. But uh, that was a great game. You performed very well and can hardly tell that it's been months since you've played Battlefield. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you have any other tips or tricks to uh, give Rage and Bacon to improve his game further. I'm not a console expert. I try my best, but uh, there are some things that I just can't uh, judge on from people playing on consoles. But if you guys want to send in your own footage, I'll leave the information on screen once again. And uh, make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.